Well, this was a long time coming. Admittedly, I've held on to this for longer than I should have. Mainly because I had to deal with other shit. But before we start the call, let me just tell you what led to this call. So literally five days after your apathy speaks louder than words came out, Slumber chose that time specifically to yell at me in DMs about it. The screenshots do say today, but they're actually dated September 2nd, 2023, so just keep that in mind. Also, for legal reasons, I must state that Slumber's lines in this part, and any parts that aren't the call, are voiced by Eleven Labs. Though, you'll probably pick up on that as the voice cloning isn't that good in this case. I cloned it from an older video, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyways, let's get into the first screenshots. Hey bruv, can I like, talk to you for a minute? Cause I've been looking at your video on Ephraim and I'm a little concerned. Why? And I'll be home in a bit. For context, I was at the grocery store with my family. Alright, do you want to wait or not? I gotta get home first. Alright, let me know when you get there. Alright, I don't know why you have to make your concerns about my Ephraim video five days after it comes out, nor do I know why everyone has to ask me things about drama once I leave the house and only when I leave the house, but go ahead. I've been thinking about what exactly to say, and I've also been very busy. Okay. Yeah, I don't entirely buy Slumber's vague posting about this busyness she's been in. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the most egregious concern I have, and say that I was not a big fan of the actual pedophile allegation. There were tons of ways of looking further into the situation to know what the ages of those involved were, and frankly it's really not good or okay to falsely accuse someone of pedophilia. Remember that last part about knowing the ages, because it's going to be important for the call. Also, I've said multiple times that if you or anyone else have proof that Ephraim isn't an ons, then feel free to show me that proof. Furthermore, I found the use of older screenshots with today plastered on them to be rather disingenuous, as it definitely gives the idea of the conversation's date being recent. Additionally, I found it rather troubling how all of the genuinely serious issues and clarifications were presented in ways that aren't front and center when they're blatantly more important than everything else going on in the last three minutes in your original Ephraim video and the information I gave you in the comments. Stuff not everyone will see. Gonna quickly add here that nitpicking how Pog is run when you're not even in the group is kind of dumb. Um, Bruce runs the group just fine on her own, and if she needed help, she'd ask. Then why did she get defensive in that comment thread if the group is run perfectly fine? She got so accusatory when I simply asked what the other minors were. In other words, I was asking for the ages of the people who were hurt, like you suggested. Those are just off of the top of my head, and also, if you were unsure of the people's ages, you could have asked me like how you asked Umbris. So the accusation of pedophilia isn't really excusable. Yeah, I asked Umbris, and she didn't give me an answer. Again, remember this for the call. One, I was willing to let Ephraim defend himself and prove himself innocent in a video. That offer is still on the table. Hence why I said, allegedly. And I was asking in that common thread. But I never got a straight answer. Not to mention, Ephraim being a sexual harasser is still bad. Not as bad as pedophilia, but still bad. Two, that wasn't intentional. That's only because I got the screenshots the day of. Not to mention that the video was in the works for a while, but had to be pushed back due to the immigrant saga. Three, if someone like Ephraim slipped through the cracks, then maybe they need more checks in place. Four, there's no point in asking about the other minors since you told me they were 17. Though Ephraim's case lines up disturbingly with another person I covered. Natty Forseth, doing the behavior on repeat and using the same excuses. I'm not saying that Ephraim is just as bad as her, but I don't like the implications that were given. 5. I'm also somewhat bothered slash concerned that Umbris accused me of blaming her slash Pog when I was just asking about Ephraim for the sake of more context. The magical allegedly doesn't change that you still said they were pedophile allegations. Yeah, they are. Allegations. As in, they're alleged. Though, even though they're alleged, all signs point to him being guilty due to yours and every one of his friends' behaviors. That's why I was getting it that it seemed disingenuous, not that it was. 
not to mention that you simply could have requested newer screenshots to accommodate for the age of the conversation. If stuff needs to get pushed back, that's fine, but you never once acknowledged that those screenshots were old anywhere. What are you even talking about? Okay, but my point still stands. If you failed to contact Umbruce or get a proper response, I was right there for a while. I did contact her. I replied to her comment, and she never told me. That doesn't suddenly change just because you have your answer now. I don't have my answer now? I still have yet to hear the ages of these other minors. And that's such a weird comparison to make because it does imply pedophilic behavior on his part, as Natty is a child predator and that was the very thing you alleged in your video. She never accused you of that, so I'm confused as to where you got the impression that she did. She just said, she and the group had nothing to hide. Something you claimed was suspicious because you never claimed she had something to hide, while she never accused Karomi of attempting to groom her, and neither did anyone else. But your response to what Karomi was accused of was to say, Karomi never groomed Umbris or had intentions to, something that we, quite conveniently, don't ever see and only ever hear. Karom's account for with no evidence proving that the conversation was as innocent as you made it out to be. But all right. Why are we even bringing up Kurome in the first place? Better question, why are you so keen on getting evidence for Kurome, but not Ephraim? Oh, right, because you don't like Kurome and you like Ephraim. And obviously your personal friends are innocent, but not the people you hate. Can't forget the typical CC bias. I can't control my audience. Also, they are nonce allegations. The word alleged is in the name allegations. I didn't think I had to. Frankly, it shouldn't have happened at all. Pog's moderation. I literally replied to her comment. She ignored me. Stop trying to frame us as the bad guys here. That was literally in her comment. And while yes, Ephraim never directly said grooming, when you hear sexual DMs with a minor, unless you directly say it wasn't grooming, people are gonna assume grooming. Also, what does Kurome have to do with this at all? Why did she need to be brought up in that conversation at all? That doesn't change anything. An allegation intrinsically means you are saying they did something. Doesn't change my point. I'm still confused as to what that had to do with any of my points. So that's when you come into my DMs to ask, okay? And I don't see how any of this changes my points regarding what you said about Karomi and Ephraim. And she got brought up because it was an inconsistency in your video overall. Allegedly. Means it might have happened. Keyword. Might. Nor does it change mine. Because it really seemed like Umbris was defending Ephraim or doing damage control. There's a quote from RTU that perfectly sums up why I don't do that. The quote in question being the one from that call with Asus that I mentioned in that video. I love how people with on one side, they'll call out whoever the hell they want to and never pick up the phone, which is fine. You don't need to. But when they're on the end of receiving criticism, why didn't you call me? Really? Well, what would you have said? Yeah, yeah, Rich, please, by all means, make a video of being critical of us. We, we can't wait to see it. Of course no one's going to say that, or they're going to give you misinformation to put in the video to damage control. That's why you don't go to people, and you just find out information yourself and do research, because if you go to people, they're going to give you, they're going to paint themselves damage control and paint themselves in the most positive light. And I addressed that inconsistency and talked about it. Did you not listen? Okay, but we're talking about the word allegation, not allegedly. They mean two different things, okay? Did you read her comments? Can you just give me a summary plus don't care? You were the one who came into my DMs first, and you have the audacity to say, I don't care. Doesn't change that there were more than one method of learning the ages Ephraim was inappropriate with. When? Because I watched the video four times and never saw that. Allegation has the word alleged in it. Yes, literally in the video. 
If you can't watch less than a minute long video, then clearly you don't care as much as you imply you do. By explaining that Umbrus' situation was different, you're not going to change my mind on Ephraim. No, it doesn't. The first few letters in the word allegation. A-L-L-E-G. The first few letters in the word allegedly. A-L-L-E-G. Do you not know how to fucking read? Not literally insert Matt Rose joke here. Literally did not acknowledge what my point was. That doesn't change the inconsistency. I'm not trying to- I'm trying to tell you my concerns about your video. It kinda does. That was the first part. You didn't acknowledge mine. It kinda does. No, it quite literally does not. As if it matters anyways. I still didn't mean it literally. Maybe don't imply I don't care about sexual harassment because I don't want to sit there and watch someone make your point for you. Okay, thanks. You literally said, don't care. Also, me citing a source or clip isn't someone making my point for me. How? Elaborate. Then why bother? Then what did you mean? Then don't act like you don't care. Because Kurome was actually able to give me a proper explanation of the context. Because I thought it was better to respond to the point rather than dismiss it. I meant, did you even understand her comment? I thought that was obvious, but alright. I never acted like I didn't care. Be for fucking real. You literally said, don't care. Did you actually read what you were typing? What are you on about? How does that relate to the inconsistency from you claiming that it was suspicious that Umbra said that she had nothing to hide? while responding to an allegation that, mind you, wasn't grooming with, but Kurome wasn't grooming Umbris. Okay, I did, and I still didn't get exact ages. Seems like it. I meant Kurome. That's not what I was referring to. Plus, you still could have asked. Explain. Alright, well, did Kurome give you any screenshots, or just his word, which literally cannot be trusted? He may not have given me screenshots, but he gave me a plausible story, meanwhile Ephraim gave me excuses multiple groomers have already used in the past. The reason for making this video, or at least the main reason, is to defend free speech. Defending free speech by sending NSFW content to minors. You're the reason free speech is so controversial these days. In September of 2020, I got a message from one of my viewers based in Japan. He sent me a tweet with a link to a Google Doc showing Arnold's exchanges with Sarah. That same day, Arnold uploaded a response video acknowledging that the things he said were inappropriate, but that they were just jokes. My sense of humor has always been very harsh. Dark humor, if you will. Moving forward, I will not have this behavior. This shouldn't have been a joke in the first place. He also brings in a handful of people to give testimonials on how he's totally not a pedophile. It's worth mentioning, every single one of these people were on his payroll. Hey there, my name is Charlie, I'm currently 17, and I work at SCR as a graphics lead. Hello, I am Dead Inside Sonic. I've known Jaden for the past 4 or 5 years. I am a contributor to the Roblox game Sonic Eclipse. This is Panic, I've been a part of SEO's community since 2018. Uh, I do animation and modeling work. I want to start off by saying I've known Jaden for 5 years, and all the years I've known him for... He was very careful with what he said because he knows not to step over the fine line of joking around. Obviously, the DMs that were exchanged between Jaden and the victims were not okay. There is no excuse for that. I'm not excusing what he said, but it was never meant to be handled seriously. However, this doesn't give him the excuse to talk to these young individuals like that at all. Though he is not a pedophile. But Jaden is by no means a pedophile. He understands the clear dividing line between jokes and serious, harmful actions against others. I'm just saying, what he did was extremely wrong, and I agree with you all with that, but he's not a fucking pedophile. Jaden clearly knew his boundaries and did not want to indulge in anything illegal for his own safety and the safety of the victim. You know, you really have to be a complete and utter piece of garbage to make Keemstar of all people look like a saint compared to you. Those clips we just witnessed are as disturbing as they appear. Seth admitting to not only receiving nudes from a 16 year old when he was 20, but also trying to shame her even in that interview. And at points he even mocked the fact that she was sexually assaulted years ago. It's horrible stuff. I think a common theme of this whole Keemstar appearance is just how unhinged and embarrassing this dude is. 
entire way that the fucking internet and interactions worked back then was completely different than now. So no, that's not even that's not even like a equivalence at Seth, all. It's not even Seth, equal. Seth, like, it doesn't yeah, matter. Like if this was it a doesn't situation matter. now, it doesn't matter. People talk differently. You're 20 so years like, yeah, old. You know, like I dubs, I dubs is saying the f and the n word in this public video. Seth, like, I dubs that, wasn't. That was, that was normal. I dubs you know was do? never. I dubs was never in a fucking Discord asking kids for fucking nudes, asking motherfuckers to eat shit That's and do all this stuff. Like, what are you talking about, bro? That's not no. Well, I just say that y you're a bareback party on you power guys. bottom. I, I, I have your face. I, I, I have your, your well, voice recorded. You called up. Phone call. Well, sir, you're here to meet a 14 year old boy, isn't that right? You. you told you told us what? I told you. I was like, I was like, fucking kiss hands to you. You said I'm uh, a no, I'm actually skied hands. Party power bottom. Yeah, that's awesome. What's that mean? Uh, that means uh, I like to go. Apparently, you like 14 year old. No, you're 14 well, sir, dicks just be up. honest. You're, you're here to meet a 14-year-old boy for. No, I'm not. Well, it, that's no, what it looks like from this conversation you were having. I'm here to spring this on you. You said send me. You literally to prove you're not Chris Hansen. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, you want to now, child porn with a face in it. What about when you said I want to <laughs> your ass and you flood it, it with? You wrong. Look, man. Look. Tell him, sir. Honestly, we just Bye. wanted to have a civil talk. That's it. Is that cool? You don't give a shit up. I want to your ass. Uh, you're technically ass not yet, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want you to that's read a, my that's satire, dummy. Satire? Yep. Satire to a 14 year old? So, yeah, I don't entirely buy Ephraim's excuse. Let's continue. I did ask by not listening to my point. Even if it is via someone who said it better? No, but I can ask. Also, how? I meant me, you could have asked me for months. Remember this for when the call happens. That's someone making the point for you. Do you care enough to make the point yourself? It can't be trusted because he's being accused of predatory behavior, something that needs to be proven true or false. And the fact that you got no proof is such a massive red flag. Because why type it when I can use a clip explaining it better than I could? Then what makes you think Ephraim can be trusted? Oh, and no, you didn't miss anything. Carmen is now living with Vap in an apartment. However, due to this, she needs to get soundproofing to actually record for videos. This would be easy, but at the moment, Carmen is looking for a new closer by job, so she's saving her money right now. She'll be able to record some things, but not a lot. You're going to be seeing me for a while, that's for sure. Did you just not care enough to ask me? She already told you why she didn't ask you. You responded with, don't care. Because you should care enough to make the point yourself. Even if it's plagiarized with credit, I never said I thought he could. Where did you get that from? It's not plagiarizing, it's citing a source. Then why give him the benefit of the doubt? Answer my question. Okay, you can cite the point in your words too. How did I do that exactly? Explain. You don't ask people before exposing them because they're just going to paint themselves in the best light in an attempt to damage control. You do research yourself to avoid that. By being upset over me saying alleged. What were you exposing me for exactly? Do you just have no response to that? I wasn't upset over that. I was upset over you treating them as fact and accusing Ephraim of being a pedophile with no context for the situation and hardly any attempt to get any outside of one comment. I was exposing Ephraim. I do. It's the same as one. Then Ephraim should try proving me wrong. I'm done with this conversation. I've got other shit to do. Okay, so asking me for context shouldn't be a problem. How so? The two are very disconnected questions. Or maybe just get context for a situation before talking about it. Are you for fucking real right now? Because you for real made child predator accusations without any understanding of the context. Be for real. I'm tired of this conversation too, but I don't leave because you made child predator accusations publicly for no fucking reason, with no context. Which is fucking serious. She did have a reason. That one tweet by Guru and how everyone reacted in that one thread Umbris posted. I have fucking church to go to. Believe it or not, I have a life outside of YouTube. So does Ephraim. 
but you literally morphed the accusations against him into him being a child predator with no context to the situation at all, either. Then he needs to provide the context. Literally you right now. Stop touching grass, get the fuck back inside the house, and continue our internet argument now! If you don't start moving real quick, I'm going in there instead, and I'm gonna fuck your mom! You could have fucking asked before. Do you think child predator allegations are just whoopsie doopsie internet drama? No, but I know when an argument is going in circles, and that's what's happening right now, and thus I don't care to entertain this conversation. Alright, have a good day. And that's why Carmen and the Observatory had the call. Now, during this time, Slumber had planned a video on Carmen, and she made her script public. This public script had some concerning things in it, and it was specific concerning things that mattered to her. So on September 4th, 2023, the Observatory gathered in the server and were ready to call and message her at 1.22 p.m. Me and the rest of the observatory need to have a word with you. And she proceeded to ignore her. But Carmen wasn't going to let Slumber ignore her in hopes this just goes away. Surely if she stood by her word, she'd be willing to talk, right? So Carmen pressed further. And after two hours, Slumber finally decided it was time to stop ignoring Carmen. She then told Carmen that she was walking her dogs and her dog took too long to shit. I don't believe that in the slightest. It took two hours for it to take a shit. Either you're feeding your dog something she shouldn't be having or you're lying. Either way, Carmen finally got slumber in a call. Now before we start, I want to tell you that in this, Carmen does make reference to Controversial Girl and Edge. Do keep in mind, this happened before they were outed as a nonce and a nonce defender. So anything the members say in defense of either of them is null and void. Now let's get into the call. <coughs> Fucking finally! <sighs> All right, so that took w way too long. Uh, I uh, can I can anyone hear me right? Is everyone able to hear me right? Can hear you. Okay, good, good. Can hear you. All right, that's good. So, um, so you know, as per usual, our calls, calls, we're here. To, we are going to read out the rules of everything, and and then we will get started. Did do not, do not DM me. He, you can unmute your mic yourself. No, I do not take ex for like a hot minute there. Sure. I'm Anyways. So for real. Sure. Anyways. Yes. Yes. I'm. I will be reading the rules of this call f all for you, Ooh, and then we will get started with our discussion. Chin. For one. All right. One. You may. S you must not interrupt any of our any of the observatory members. If you do interrupt. Thus, you will be muted until your talking has until our talking has stopped. When presented with a yes or no question, you must either answer a lone yes or a lone no. We will number two, number two or three. Fuck. If target, if and th we're not saying that you're going to do this, but we have this rule in place for a reason. I'm sure you already know why. If anyone we're talking to makes a KMS threat, the call is immediately over and ver and whoever we're talking to will be kicked out of the server and is no longer our problem. Next rule is that you may not bring any other people un to this call unless you're instructed to do so. However, to and these rules are mostly for you, however, to keep things fair, we we ourselves have rules as well. We other observatory members are not to use slurs, KYS messages, or any sort of threats, empty or otherwise. If an observatory member breaks this rule, they will be kicked in the call and kicked from the call, muted in chat, and I will read out their questions or notes so that they have down. Now, because now because I'm being fair, I'm going to tell you this now. 
Now, and because even though we, we resemble Senate, we are not Senate. Nit, so we have some, some transparency. We do record all of our calls. Calls, and if you are not okay with this, then now is your chance to leave. And with all that out of the way, the, with all that out of the way, hey, who wants to go first? Whether it be Loon, Red, or Vap, though I think probably Red should go first since he's got to go to work later. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Right, okay, so. No. Sometimes my mic does something weird. Or, or if I start skipping, or it sounds like a, like my um, voice is on a. With, like like I'm speaking into a fan and and a, or if you just need me to repeat something, just let me know. But um, I was going through through the um DMs that you had with Carmen, and this th this is where most of my questions come from. So my first one is. Do you, does someone need to be part of a group in order to criticize it? Depends. That's my answer. Circumstantially. Okay, that's a that's a much better answer than just saying ang, ang, um yes or no. Because that honestly the Given what I what I've been going through with a certain situation, that that is the best answer you could have given me. Now then, on to another point. I, I, so you pointed out that Umbers had said that she and her group had nothing to hide. Yet, despite this, one of her her previous comments in that same thread was that she was asked to keep things under wraps. Do you kind of see how those those two phrases would kind of contradict each other? Uh, no, because she was asked by the victim not to, like, make a fucking spectacle about it. That doesn't mean, like, she's trying to hide it. She's doing it because the, the people that were sexually harassed asked her explicitly not to talk about it. It still got out either way, so I don't really see how it matters. Although, I mean, like, I mean, sure, sure, but at the same time, there's a difference between in, um, not making a spectacle out of it, like making sure it's a it's a soft, off pop rather than a large bang, and then just as how are we just only learning this just now? That that is the difference. That I think is an, an important thing to point out because, like, because. Like Armin, I I only just learned of this recently, so. Well, I mean, to be completely fair, though, most of the people who share the community with Umbris, the SCC, knew about it. I don't really think it's her fault if some people don't know about it, because at this point, it's been made public like three times now, at least. Three times. So Carmen's the third then. Uh, there's Carmen's video, there's Susie's video, and there's Feral Cord's video. Um, and then there's also Space Guru 5's tweets, so that technically makes it four. Okay. I, I think it's really valuable that we, like, like, the reason she, she would have, I, I know she would have, if, if Light had, like, asked her to, but Light explicitly did not want it to be, like, a big, like, drama. I, I, I can sympathize with that, even though I don't know his exact reasoning. So so that's why uh, Umbris said that she, like, kept it under wraps, because she had been asked to by the person who was, like, the victim in the situation. Alright. Now, personally, if, if for me, I prefer or things... If, if, if you know something and, and, and you're or a content creator, might. My main idea is that you're going to have more reach on on your own channel on on YouTube rather than on Twitter because not many, despite it being the social oh media site, not really everyone will follow set 
the same Twitter. Er, er, and in regards to do Oodles, Oodles video, oh, oh, it is on coming up on listed. Do you have, do you have a link to Barracord's video? Uh, I I can get it real quick if you want. I I know the title of it. Uh, here, let me let me just find it real quick. Uh. Can I send links in uh, no mic or is that um uh Carmen what do you think it, it it's a link to Beryl's video on Efron where she talks about the sexual Efron. yes yeah yes <laughs> I have no idea how those work. <laughs> no, 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 I understand, like, your reservations about that. I'm just saying, like, I have no fucking clue how that shit works. So you don't really have to worry about that. Yeah. I, I don't really have a motivation to, so... Yeah, I just... Like... You... like you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about right. Yeah, just making sure. Um, I'll... I'll go ahead and take a look at that video real quick. All right. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep up with my line of uh, questions. <laughs> anyway, um, so at, so when when um Efron was was booted from on um, Pog, was that the only um consequence, or 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 did he also have like a talk with Lyo or Ambers or anyone on about oh like why? Oh. This is about well, it. Why he was doing was bad, or uh, for the most part, he was like ostracized for like months because of the whole situation. Like, uh, I know basically like most of the SCC by that point either was not on good terms with him and didn't talk to him, or just like flat out told him to his face that he was like a like a fucking asshole. Um, which uh. If I'm not mistaken, uh, some people have, like, start... Like, if I'm not mistaken, Light ended up forgiving him at some point. Uh, which, uh, to my knowledge, Light still doesn't talk to Ephraim, but I, I could be wrong. Uh, he He's mostly just in, like, people's, like, like, the occasional, like, public server, and that's, like, literally it. Uh, but he was like really ostracized for like a like a the shit ton of time. Uh, the 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 stuff with like talking to other people <laughs> um outside of like his group is like a, a fairly recent development. Okay, so um, when you say ostracized, you mean people basically just kind of uh, brought it up and like, uh, yeah, you know, this was horrible, right? Like, I, I mean, he was, like, basically blacklisted from, like, the most public oh. SCC spaces. Oh, so he was basically shunned, essentially. It, yeah. Uh, he, he, that hasn't, like, he's slowly been, like, kind of regaining people's trust. Uh, because, like, Light, I think, ended up forgiving him at some point. And, like, he, he mistreated a few other people that have since, like, started forgiving him for those actions. Um... But like no, no, everybody's kind of like still like wary of him. You know what I mean? So his situation so, right now is that he's practically walking on Netflix shelves. Yeah, yeah, he's been like he's he's not just like running around doing whatever the fuck he wants. You know what I mean? All right, okay. Yeah, he's, so y'all just just keeping a really close eye on like like the moment he steps out of line again, it's just like like yeah, yeah, we're gonna know it's not it. Okay. Okay. All right. so, so far, he hasn't done like a bunch of like major like shit like he did with light. Um. So it hasn't been like I don't know. It's mostly been quiet. Uh. In, in that regard. 
All right. Does that answer your question? Um. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those. Those does. Those do answer my questions. Um. So, my. I guess my last question is: Is you're you're fairly confident that uh, he's not not gonna repeat the same mistakes again? And if he he does, uh, is it just like, bam, done, you're done, we're dropping you like like the um, rotting fish carcass is off the side of the boat? I, I mean that depends. Sorry, my but that's my, yeah, my, my basically it's just like the the moment and he steps out of line again and. You're on your own. That's pretty much it, right? That depends, but if it ends up getting to like sexual harassment again, then then definitely, yeah. Okay, okay, that is like like perfect. like if it starts if it starts getting like to that line of like shit that you should just know not to do, like like if he ends up like being really weird about uh, like around like minors, like, <laughs> uh. Uh, then obviously he's not gonna like sit there and like just like not have any consequences when that like becomes public. You know what I mean? So so it's not like like it it, it has a, it isn't like he's like getting off scot free for all the shit that he did. Like like no, he's still like actively like facing consequences for that. You know what I mean? Right. And you mentioned he's in other service. Do these other servers know what he did or? Uh, yeah, the people in the other servers that he's in, like, know what he did. Okay. Like I said, most of the community knows about this. It's not, like, a... It, it, it's not exactly private anymore. Um, because there's, like, a, a ton of different ways in which this has been, like, made public. Right. Um, okay. So this is just essentially, like I said, all eyes on him. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that 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 actually wraps up, up all my questions. Most of my questions were just going to be like compounding questions, but your answers so far have just knocked them all out. I, I'm glad I was able to answer your question. I, I'm happy we were, were able to do that as well. All right, uh, uh, who wants to go next? I'll probably go just because it's... This has been two hours, and I don't know when my family's getting back home. <laughs> and I might as well get my stuff out of the way before the kids, before my sister and my brother start making noise downstairs, because I know damn well that's going to start happening once they get here. Anyways, so, I have a few questions, and admittedly I didn't type them down like I did last time with the last person I called, but, the last person we called, but there's a few but it's mainly just questions that I'm going over in terms of the script. In, in terms of, because right how it... Oh, okay, I guess Loon left. Um, just going over in terms of... In terms of um, the script that you wrote in response to my video. Now, I'm not going to go over every single point, because, you know, I could just do that in my own video. But I'm going to go over okay loon's back but i am going to go over some key points that i think are worth bringing up and worth bringing to your attention while you're here so and they're they're just a few paragraphs let me find what i'm looking for um, it's not going to be about the political stuff though i will say that much because again in the the video, because again, like, I could just make my own video. You know, I don't, I'm not con- the, the stuff about Kami shit is the least of my concerns right now. I, I don't care. Let me take a second. Sorry, I know that script's really long. Uh, don't don't worry about it. Here you did.
Okay, here's the one I wanted to talk about. Um, now, I'm looking at the timestamp. I don't have the video on hand right now, and I don't... Eh, it's okay, Loon, don't worry about it. Anyways, um, I have the screenshot right... I have the, the script on my on another tab right here. I'm, I'm taking a look at this part. 1620 to 1623, which I'm assuming is the part where I point out that Laya was saying, was telling me via Loon's comments on his video, basically telling me to get in a one-person car accident. And in and the thing that concerned me is is what you wrote in response. Great, a screenshot we get zero context for. Actually, none of... Well, just that part. And the question I wanted to ask is... Is, so you say that, that you know, we're taking Laya's comments. So, if what I'm understanding from this is that your point is that we're taking Lyo's comment out of context, right? Is that is that what you're trying to say? Not, not exactly. Um, it's not. It's not necessarily that you're taking it out of context. Is that it looks dishonest because we literally get like nothing, like proving that it was directed to you. Nothing like. We don't have a, a like context to the conversation at all, so we're just kind of left with a screenshot that you're just saying is like directed at you, like like you know you know what I'm trying to say. Like it, it's not that it's out of context; it's just that it has no context, so it can look dishonest. Is what I mean. All right, Wait, Let me go back to the video and I'll read the comment in question, so everyone can know what the comment said. Because if you Comment said. Let me get to my video real quick. And and uh, I do want to clarify the reason that that's there is like it, it's supposed to like connect to like a, a general wider point uh, about how like you don't really give context, so it, it doesn't. It you just say like, oh, it was in response to this. Oh, it was this. So it it, it looks. It, I don't have a reason in the video to, like, take what you say at, like, face value at all. And even if I give you the benefit of the doubt, it still looks dishonest. Does that make sense? Okay, well, I'm talking about just this comment right now. I, I don't know what you mean, oh. Ian, and I don't care about the other stuff. Frankly, I really don't care about the other stuff. I'm just talking about this one comment. Like I said, I'm not here to cover every single point. I'll cover every single point when your video comes out. If it comes out, I don't know. Let me get to the timestamp. It, it probably will. Alright, well, I'll be waiting for that. Anyways. Yes, let me get to the timestamp so I can look at the comment, because... As it was a small paragraph, I believe. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, 20. Alright, so I want to say this clearly because this comment was given to me by Loon, and this was the context he gave me, was that this was under a video where Loon was having a call with me and a few other people about, you know, the immigrant saga as a whole. So, um, right here, and it was directed at me because I was in, I was the parent, I was the person in the call. And just for the record, Loon wasn't playing any sides at this time. He was being very... quite neutral, in fact. So I will say that. He wasn't going against me or anything. He was being a little neutral, so I'm not upset at Loon. Loon. So, um, the comment says, is by Lyo Convoy, I don't have any baggage, you dishonest lout. Who the fuck uses that word? You think the world is out to get you when literally... He the only time anyone thinks about you is when you make yourself an issue. The fact that you call you are in this call with a literal child, none of the and none of the adults care to stop it is very telling. Oh, and for the record, Septi and I had multiple e talks and conversations 
Before that call around Kumo, the fact that you're not smart enough to pay attention to that call is an issue, but no, Carmen must be a victim of people with agendas, right? Children shouldn't be around you, no one should, you should get in a single-person car accident. That is, that last part is the part that I've mainly focused on. And that's where my main question comes from. What context do you think that the phrase, you should get in a single-person car accident, is appropriate in, in, a, in terms of a YouTube comments. That is what I wanted to ask you. It was in reference to the fact that you said it was directed at you, mostly, but also, like, I, I think, like, <sighs> yeah. It was in reference to that it was directed at you. Like, we, we don't get context for that. And the fact that we don't get context for that is weird, because, like, we don't know who Lyle was responding to. Yeah. That was the most scripted thing ever. Yeah. She was being so fucking disingenuous there. I don't know he was talking about Carmen. But, okay, the thing is, like, no. okay, she didn't answer my question. That She didn't even answer my question. I was like, I was saying, like, what context do you think that that's okay? Because she says, great, a screenshot we get zero context for. Or, implying that there is a context where that's appropriate to say. So I was saying, what the, oh, good, you're back. I'm sorry, my older sibling came in. Okay, well, I, I, let me ask, here's the thing, back to what I was asking, what I, I wasn't concerned about your point that you were making, let me explain what I just, what I'm trying to think of, um, you, your screenshot says, or not screenshot, your part of the script says, great, a screenshot we get zero context for, this implies, and I know you didn't say this directly, but this implies that there is a context where saying you should get in a single person car accident you're implying that there's a context where that's an appropriate thing to say some to someone Un and I want to know what context is that appropriate to say to someone um when the person that Lyo's talking to is someone like V Omega just as an example Okay, but I'm not the Omega. Oh, okay, but I didn't say that, though. Okay. You're asking what context it would be okay to say something like that to an another person. I'm okay. just answering the question. All right. I'm not saying that you are the Omega. And All I'm right. not saying that that comment was okay if it was directed at you. All right. All right, now I know. However, I... However, I will say that there is, um, that, and for the record, I am not defending V Omega. V Omega is a terrible person. I will not be sad if he leaves this earth. He's a terrible person and deserves everything negative that happens to him. But I will say this, and this is more speaking on Lyle Convoy's case rather than yours, but I feel like you need to hear it as well. Well, there are, believe it or not, there are unintended consequences to making threats to predators. Now, for the record, I'm not saying that we sh that that their feelings matter and that we should just be nice to them. No. Obviously, we we shouldn't be nice to predators. They're bad people. In fact, a, a few minutes ago and yesterday, me and Edge's server were making a bunch of jokes about EDP. So, no, we're not I'm not signing with predators. However, for there is a um I heard a news report that I don't know the exact name of it and I can't get a link right now cuz it's in a video and I don't know the timestamp. There are laws in places like the UK where somebody who is charged with a crime has the ability to ask the court to keep their name anonymous if they feel threatened. And I, I know you can't see me, but I'm doing air quotes around feel threatened. Now, I think that's very stupid. I can understand how it'd be a case in like something like drug deals, but if it's something where somebody is a predator, I think that's stupid. And that's why in America, we don't have that law. However, for in the UK, they unfortunately do have that law. And by making, and I feel like if 
Lyle Convoy were to say something like that to V Omega, and if V Omega, for whatever reason, went to jail but was about to get out, I fear that somebody who is V Omega, or somebody who is like V Omega, or somebody else who Lyle Convoy is, or somebody else who was jailed by Lyle Convoy, could make the excuse like, oh hey, Lyle Convoy is making threats to people who committed the same crime as I did. Did. So, I do feel like, well, I do feel like his cop, if, if something like that were said to somebody like V Omega, it would be 100% justified. However, that is, in a, there is an unintended consequence there. So I will say that I do not believe that that is, a, that would be an appropriate thing to say to Mega, as it could ruin a court case, ruin that disgusting person from being exposed, who's for what they are, or, and, you know, when outing a predator, the first, the main thing you want to accomplish is get the name of the person out there and get what they did out there. So... But that's all I wanted to say in regards to that. Now I'm going to move on to my next question. Which should be here next to a, after a bunch of scrolling. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, so... You did mention... So in response to me saying that I didn't want Afrom's crimes to go unexposed you said that and I and because I do believe that if Ephraim was given the opportunity that he would would offend again because he committed a sex crime and people who commit sex, sex crimes they don't just magically don't do it again that was the point I was making in my video in that part that you at the part at the end, is that I feel like that Ephraim could very much well commit the same crime again. He could very, and I feel like he will do it. Maybe he might not do it as Ephraim, maybe he's making another account on a burner phone and doing it in, in other discords under another name. Who knows? What I was trying to say is that, towards the end, was that I have a room, I have a feeling that Ephraim would do this again. However, what I mainly have concern over is is one of your responses this is to the last part of my video. When I brought up now then I brought up examples about how people who commit sex crimes are gonna do it again. I used damn or damn if I Dexonic, whatever the fuck his name is nowadays. They, damn Minecraft, you know, you know, everyone knows who he is, Toasted if I talked about him, but, and how he, you know, repeatedly had, had, had done bad things, things, we all know the things he did, to, to teenagers, one of them being a preteen even, and how he kept got, getting caught again, and again, and again, and despite him getting caught multiple times, he kept doing it. And I brought up another, and then another thing I brought up was a Skeeter Jean video of how one of the people he caught was a registered offender. And now the next point you bring up is saying that, that me saying that through evidence, through seeing different cases of people committing sexual misconduct, me saying that, you know, there's a history of people doing it again, and, which is kind of ironic, because earlier, I brought up EDP briefly, and you know what he did? He got caught doing the same thing he got caught for initially, again. Then, ironically, by Skeeter Jean. But, but when I say that based on the evidence of people who have been accused of committing sexual misconduct, that you said that, in response, you said that... What I was doing by saying that Ephraim is going, was most likely 99% going to do it again, you said that what I was saying was fear mongering. Basically saying uh -huh. that I. How is that fear mongering? How, how am I fear mongering? 
Um, because you literally said in red without any evidence that Ephron specifically is going to do that again. That he is definitely 100% sure, guaranteed going to do that again. Um, and then in your later video, the fact that you um, literally morphed the allegations of sexual harassment into pedophile allegations implies that he is going to prey on, ch on children. Has um, he not? You not don't to think how all of all of all of your examples are also pedophiles, which further links this whole thing to pedophilia. In uh, your Natty Forsyth example that you gave me in DMs, which was a of a pedophile claiming that they were similar cases, further implies that you're saying that Ephron is 100% going to groom children in the future. That is what you were saying. I have reason to believe that that might be the case, mainly referring to Umbris's other minors. And, and the then fact I gave that you context about that, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes, you, you, you had did, my but... hands open with me for a month, at least. Actually, no, maybe two months, or maybe three. And yet you couldn't have just asked me if Umbris wasn't responding to you? I told you... It's what? not that hard. I showed it's you... It's not that hard. You're talking over me. I told you not to talk over me, and you're talking over me. Me. You're not helping your case. Anyways, okay. when I'm going... What I'm going to say is that, one, I already told you why. Why I don't just ask people for context, because... And and I, I sent you a clip of somebody explaining it better than I could, but I'm going to explain it now, since I can actually use my words and I'm not doing it from a phone, and I'm not doing it from, from typing. I'm going to actually explain it now. Um, the reason I don't go to people and just ask is because when you're exposing somebody who's either... Using somebody, but he, whether if you go to them, M, because I know that you had you were in a, that server with Ephraim, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute. You were in a server with Ephraim, and and you had right, and you and I saw that you were basically on, partially, if not on his side on this through your through those screenshots of the most recent video on Ephraim, you were mostly on his side. So, what makes you think that I would go to you for info? Because, what makes you think that that I would go to you for info? Because I know that, chances are, you're just going to paint him in the most positive light. That's why you don't ask people. Bull. That's why you don't go to people. Well, to, to tell them, you couldn't have asked for my stance on Ephraim later because you know how old those screenshots are. I know you know how old those screenshots are. If you don't know how old those screenshots are, um, you can literally look at your video date, and they're the same date. Um, let's not act like stances can't change in a few months about people. Um, not only that, but you could have literally asked me if I if I was like. If I still liked Ephraim, if I was still friends with Ephraim, which I would have given him the answer of, no, I'm really not. Um, but you never asked, first of all. Second of all, um, what makes you think Umbris isn't going to be somehow, like, biased in this situation in some way? Um, because regardless of her stance on Ephraim, who's to say that she wouldn't paint him in a better light or in a worse light than he actually was? Um, so you asking Umbris but not asking me because I would have been biased? Um, is dumb. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. Everybody yeah. has... Here's the thing. It's either... It's either... It's either ask Umbrus. It's because Embrus was the one who... Who mentioned other minors. And she... And at first, I thought she would be willing to comply because she was making it clear that that Pog no longer, well, Pog or whatever the server's called, was no longer, well, yeah, Pog, was no longer welcoming Ephraim. But then, I started losing faith in her once she started saying stuff like, stop shifting, telling me to stop trying to pin her as the bad guy. Yeah. That's when I started having a problem. But I did ask her at first, and I was hoping for an answer, but I never got one. And if I can't get one from Umbrus, Miss, why should I ask you? I was already risking everything when I, 
when I allowed you to you to talk to talk with me about things in regards to Septi Paw Su Septi Paw suing me me, but I knew that but I knew that you still didn't like me. I I knew that you probably still didn't like me. Maybe that's just my trust issues. Maybe it's just the fact that that I'm not too fond of Ephraim, and I'm not too fond of somebody who goes in servers and is nearly and tells me to get off the internet because I committed the heinous sin of wrong think. Think? Maybe because I'm not a fan of that. Maybe because even though I allowed myself to talk to you because I was at a low point, I still kept my guard up, up because I know what people are capable of. Mr. Asus backstab backstabbed me once when I opened up to him. What makes what makes you think that I'm not gonna expect the same from you? Um, that's why we ask other people our stances before we just automatically assume that we know what they are. If I didn't like Ephraim, or if I didn't like you, I would have told you. I would have told you plain in text. Oh, I don't like Ephraim. Oh, I don't like you. Um, I don't know why you're so eager to like act like I'm like capable of like this mastermind two-faced manipulation shit um i'm a 16 year old w why do you think i'm so capable of these things i can barely get out of bed in my in the morning what makes you think i'm gonna have the ability to do this shit this is i don't know why you couldn't have simply asked me oh do you still like ephraim are you still in contact with ephraim i don't know why you simply couldn't ask me um oh hey do you know the pod members who ephraim like was sexual with Oh, hey, do you know these people? Do you know those people? Um, that's not... I, I'm not gonna sit there and say I know somebody that I blatantly do not. I don't know why you would think that I would, but I wouldn't, first of all. Second of all, the ages of the people who Ephraim was sexual with is not only obvious, but is also public, so... Uh, well, if it's public, then maybe you should go ahead and tell us these who these people were so we can, you know, get a better grasp of what of what Ephraim was aiming for. I mean, you're here right now, so surely you'll be able to tell us who these people were, their ages, just, and to see if it really, because if, because that's my main concern. If it was just fractured light, it, then yeah, it would be gross, it would be sexual harassment, but at the end of the day, it, it wouldn't. But at the end of the day, that would be one person, and it wouldn't make him a possible groomer. But now that we heard of other minors, plural, now we need to know who these people, who these people are, how old they were, and why we should, and in order to see how how much of a danger Ephraim is. That was my question. That's what I was asking for when I heard of these other miners. And yes, I did bring up Natty Forsyth. Yes, I did compare him to Natty Forsyth because he uses the because he used the same excuses as Natty Forsyth. Oh, I was just joking. I was just using jokes. Oh, you know they were just you know claiming that they're all jokes and stuff. But but here's the thing, which is the same. Excuse Natty Forsyth use. I think even Seth the programmer used that excuse. Meaning that I'm gonna meaning that not only do I wanna know these the ages of these people, but I also need to know what they were saying what was said. Because I know what I know what an off color joke looks like and I know what a when and I know what grooming looks like. Because both have happened because I've seen both happen. I've seen both happen. And there have been many people who have been exposed for grooming, and there are many people who tell off-color jokes. And that's my concern. Also, I'm not going to... Also, I'm not going to let you play the whole, I'm a minor card. We, we don't go by that here. We're not going by the whole, well, I'm just 16 card. We're not doing that. It's... You're 16. You're not, you're not, you're not 4. You're not 5. You're not 10. You're old enough to drive. You're old enough to get a job. In 2 years, you'll be old enough to smoke. And in 5 years, you'll be old enough to drink. You are not a child. You are a high schooler. Cooler. 
You don't need to infantize yourself to make yourself the victim. Because you're not. But that's... But that's what... I'm already drawing a blank. This is what happens when I take too long. Anyways. Yes. My next point was... I already talked about it from, I think. I think I got off everything I needed to say on there. My next point was that... Was that... You were saying that, in, in your final thoughts, that me talking about Ephraim, me talking about Ephraim, because I put it at the end, and the allegations at the end, and me talking about Ephraim was clickbaity, and I was doing it just for clicks and likes. Even though, I want you to know that that's the same ex. I want you to know that that's the same excuse people make for Mini Lad. That is the same excuse that people who are fans of Mini Lad, people who support Mini Lad, use that same excuse. There, there have even been people who use that excuse to support other predators when people rightfully call them out. Anytime somebody gets called out, out for you know doing fucked up things to kids, anytime anyone gets caught doing that. Their fans, some some of their fans, they leave. They leave and they, they don't come back, which, good. They don't come back. They don't, Predators don't need to be on YouTube. But some of the fans who are either kids or fans who are... Either fans who are kids or fans who are adults who think that grooming is no big deal, which, unfortunately, those do exist, which sucks. But... But people who see people who see that their favorite creator is getting exposed for for grooming or sexual misconduct, they always come to the rescue of the creator in the comments of whoever's talking about him. It ha and they say, "Oh, you're just doing it for views. You're doing it for money, and you're doing it for everything else." You do realize that's the same excuse people make for Mini Lad. And, and a bunch of other predators. You do know that, right? You're using an excuse that has been used to defend nonces. Do you not see that? Can I can I go ahead and say something real quick? Sure. Okay. Um, I find it really ironic that you compare um, bringing predator allegations to light um, versus what you did, which was not only titled thumbnail the video about the allegation but then you also go on to only talk about them for five minutes at the very end um problem wasn't with you talking about them my like the other people that you mentioned that's the difference my problem was with the fact that you only spoke about them for three minutes blatantly misused them um literally only talked about them uh at the end of uh, while also having an understanding of why Light didn't want them public, or the fact that uh, he didn't want them public. Um, and uh, not only that, but you, you, you made it all about the allegations, right? But then most of your video was just a commentary on Ephraim. It had nothing to do with the allegations presented. So unless you want to explain why you're conflating these two as if they're the same thing, when you only talk about it for three minutes at the very end, versus when other predators are added, they're added for their allegations in the videos. In most of the video where everybody is going to see it, it's front and center. Um, I mean, I have to say that that point is garbage because it doesn't compare at all. Because you made the allegation secondary to your actual commentary on Ephra. So I, I don't really see how they're equivalent. They're just straight up not. Um, and the fact that you're comparing this to what people say about pedophiles also reinforces my little theory that that little allegedly um that you put about how it's uh, a fucking pedophile allegation you're putting forth the notion that from is a fucking child predator um and not like a like a sexual harassment child predator but like a like an actual like legitimate like danger to specifically minors um makes it look a little bit more questionable and it, it makes the uh, allegedly look a lot more scapegoaty because you keep comparing it to sexual predators and defending that choice and I'm sorry, but if you weren't trying to call Ephraim a fucking pedophile, you're doing a horrible job. I'm just gonna say that right now, you're doing a horrible job. Because all of this, all of this right here, 
but like that little legend thing means fucking nothing. <laughs> you're you're trying to spin a narrative, and it's blatantly obvious to see when you sit there and say, "Oh, but well, I never explicitly said that I promise a pedophile." Um, because I didn't. You blatantly implied it in every instance that you can. I, I don't give a shit about what you've explicitly said. And the fact that you've implied it so many times shows that it doesn't really matter what you've explicitly said. You're still acting and treating Ephraim like a fucking pedophile. And like, this is a case of another child of it. When I I'm sorry, it's just blatantly on. Ephraim was sexual with people in his age group. It doesn't matter how creepy he was. It doesn't matter if he was sexually harassing people. That doesn't make him a pedophile. And despite the fact that I do denounce his actions in that situation because that's just fucking disgusting. No oh no, it's okay, Red. Red. If I need to cut someone off, I can just do this. Thanks for the suggestion, though. Now, what I was saying... You have Now, what I wanted to say was that... That... I... One. One is that I still wanted to debunk the points about Ephraim, um, the points he made against me. Two, I've done this to somebody before. I've I've covered somebody in the same way before. I've covered a predator known as Silly Rally. I covered his video that I wanted to cover first, and then I talked about his allegations. I even linked somebody, somebody else's video about the allegations in case people wanted a more in-depth look. And even then, I didn't make the allegation segment, or it's second. They were there for half the video, and and I told you this in a comment. I told you this in a comment, and already, and I know you saw this because you you sent it to your little surfer, which we're gonna get into, who, who in a bit. Is that if you're watching a drama video, you should watch. You need to watch all of it. All of it. There's no excuses. All of it. You don't have to watch it all in one sitting. You don't have to watch it all in one sitting. I know that you have a life outside of, outside of you know, going on YouTube. But you should at least watch all of it. By default. Just anyone should watch all of it by default. And even then, you said, you said, no, no, no. You said earlier, what, something I noticed? That I don't know if anyone else here, any of my observatory members picked up on, but you said that there was a dip. You said that I was treating Ephraim not like a sexual harassment pedophile, but like a groomer pedophile, or something like that. So I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly what you said, but you said something to that effect. I want to let you know that sexual harassment. You do realize that they're both not sorry. They're both cases of non sorry pedophilia committed against minors. They're not different. You're trying to insinuate that Ephraim is somehow different. He's, he's not. If these are true, they're not. And even then, I always say allegedly. If anyone, if people aren't going to take away the allegedly part of it, then why bother? Then, then, then that's their fault. Also, if they take, if they ignore the allegedly part, then that's their own fault. And I've given, I have given Ephraim chances. I even say in my second video, I've said sometimes, you know, oh, how about instead you either, you know, no, I didn't say just to boot him off the platform me immediately. I said for him to, him to talk about it, you know, feel free to prove me wrong. Ephraim is free to make his own video. To prove me wrong, I wouldn't be happier to be proved wrong. I would say, yeah, you know what, Ephraim? You beat the allegations. You may be a sexual harasser and you may be a filthy commie, but you know, at least, but at least you're not a nonce. But that never happened, now did it? That never happened. He went in my comments, he argued stuff about him being friends with Lyo, which I don't care about. I don't care if he's friends with Lyo, that's the least, that's the last thing I care about. And he also, and he, and he, and he argued a bunch of other shit. And, and he didn't even talk about the, 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 the non he committed. You act like what he did was somehow different from other people who, who, you know, who do sexual stuff, stuff with minors. You somehow imply that that's somehow different, that sexual harassment is somehow different than it. 
And the thing is, is that it's not very different. It might have be a little tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny bit different, but it's not any different, and I feel like it should be the same. And frankly, the arguments Efron made can easily be countered with, what does that have to do with the cost of tea in China? Red, what did you send me? <laughs> Anyways, um, what I was, what I'm trying to say is that is that Ephraim hasn't argued shit. I have given him chances. I would gladly like to be proven wrong, proven that he's a non he's not a nonce. I would gladly like to be proven that he isn't a nonce. And that he he's not a pedophile. You know, being a sexual harasser is still bad, and I still believe he's going to do it again. But there but the sense of urgency that there are other minors, not other people, other minors, is what's concerning me. And that's where you don't understand. Is that that's what's concerning me. A anything else before I move on to my next point? I have things to say. Go ahead, because next I'm going to be talking about Neko Koda. Oh, and also, okay. one more thing before you go. go. I was also concerned that he was... That, he, that the people he was... That his little commentary group contains MG and Communist Creeper. That's another thing that concerns me. And to my knowledge, those people were minors. And if he is committing a legend on three, he doesn't need to be around them. Now, I don't know what's going on in Temporal Times commentary, but the fact that things are going on in Temporal Times that I don't know about makes my concern go up even more. Now you may go. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, so, first of all, I want to start off by saying that that's not what I meant to say. I apologize. With the, the sexual harassment stuff, it's meant to say that it's, it's not, like, the, 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 let, let me just clarify what I meant to say in that sentence. I meant to say that there's a difference between se sexually harassing someone that's in your age bracket, that just happens to be a child, and being, like, an active, like, fucking pedophile. Um, because those are two different things. Um, second of all, um, I want to ask, uh, where did you get the idea that the three minutes uh, was half 45? Um, and you, you can answer this question after I'm done. Um, because I really, I, I really want to keep talking right now. Um, again, and I'd like to also say that I, I was the one who said about this. Literally nothing is going on in there. So I don't know why you'd be concerned. But um, I, I said in that group, I'm not in it anymore. But I was in there for like a good time. Nothing ever really happened, so uh, you don't really have to be that concerned. Unless you're just gonna like say that you don't believe me or whatever. Which I don't know. What I'm um, that's not my guess. <laughs> but I'd also like to say that um, I don't know. I think there's a difference between um, telling someone sexual things uh, when they're in your age bracket um, that. Uh, they're uncomfortable by and um, actively going out of your way to prey on children. Like, I, I don't think either are good. I don't think either, either are okay or justifiable in any way. I, I'm not siding with him on that. That's disgusting. But, um, to say that they're basically the same thing uh, is fucking dumb to be, to be blunt with you right now. That's fucking dumb. Um, <laughs> I want to I wanna go ahead and wrap this up because I don't want to be here, like, spouting giant ass fucking paragraphs where nobody else ever ever gets to talk um and then forgets what i have to say halfway through uh because they're so busy trying to keep track of the things that they do want to say but i'm just gonna end this off with um no we're not done here we're not done like, here <clears throat> uh no 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 no, 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 no. i'm talking about i'm done talking right now i'm not talking about we're not we're done we still have questions for you quite frankly i'm not done here either um, anyways, uh, <laughs> any, any, anyways. so, let me, let me wrap this up with, um, maybe, maybe you should ask more questions before you go around accusing somebody of serious crimes and being pedophiles, because, <laughs> quite, quite frankly, that's, 
like really really fucking weird um and before you say oh but i i meant like half of the video in the second efron video i'm talking about the first one because you barely even mentioned them in the first one um and also i'd like to think i don't give a fuck if people should just watch it by default people have fucking lives they're not just gonna sit around and like not everybody has that 45 minutes but some people want to know, like, oh, hey, is this person that I like? Like, a fucking... Are they fucking weirdo? And then they don't get that. They hear nothing about it. And, and they're just like... You know, I don't really know anything about that whole situation. Um, so they keep supporting Ephraim. If you really believe that Ephraim is a pedophile, then those allegations need to be front and center. Instead of at the uh, end three, I'm being really fucking generous with you. I'm going to keep saying three. Uh, fucking minute at the end of a 45 minute video, which not everybody has time, not everybody's gonna get the timestamps right enough to fucking skip it. And I think the fact that <laughs> that was the front of them of, um, fucking. Okay, but here's the thing when you watch a, a little bit of a YouTube video and you click off of it, you can go into your history. And then you can continue the video where you left off. Ever notice that videos that you've watched have that red bar underneath it, that red bar? That's that's the seek bar of where you left off in the video, and when you click on that video, it will take you to the timestamp that you were at. So people don't have to remember the timestamp. Now, I do have one more concern, Ern, and then I'm going to hand the baton to Loon. Afterwards. Also, Red, just to remind you, I think you might have work soon. So, if you... Fuck. Anyways. Right, let me find what I, what I need. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and wrap up with, uh, I think the fact that you keep, um, trying to morph this into fucking profile allegations, when they're just not, and then you keep trying to justify it when you had a free method of contacting someone who knew and you could have just asked if they did know things that you needed to know. Um, <laughs> fucking laughable. Um, and the fact that you keep going on about, well, you could have been biased. Well, Umbers could have been biased. That doesn't matter to you, now does it? Because it would have confirmed what you wanted to say about that one. Which is fucking deplorable, by the way. Um, most people don't like being the, the fucking source of your confirmation bias. I know I certainly wouldn't. So I think the fact that you're trying to morph these allegations into something more serious, and then trying to justify that with, oh, but I made small corrections, or I still spoke about them, or, 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 like, I don't care. I'm just gonna be honest with you. If not everybody's gonna see it, or if it's not front and center in, um, something speaking and trying to raise awareness about something, um, <laughs> that's fucking serious, I don't fucking give a shit. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't give a shit if you wanna make a pinned comment being like, oh, it wasn't actually- Oh, I deleted the pinned comment because I was- Leading up to this call. I, I got rid of it. I don't care anymore. So anyways, mm. now that I shut you... So you're fine with just publicly uh, accusing of pedophilia? Um, no. Okay, so you're fine with falsely accusing people of pedophilia? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And you will not talk over me. As I said, and before, you will be muted until I finish speaking. One, I did not ask for confirmation bias. I gave you these rules, rules to begin with, so this should not come as a surprise to you. I literally spent minutes explaining everything to you. The recording has lasted for an hour and a minute, and it's about to be an hour and two minutes. I have spent that time explaining it to you. If you don't get that, that's your own damn fault, and you're not listening. I'm not looking for confirmation bias. I deleted the co the pinned comment, not because I wanted to lie, but because I don't... It was because you were so key because of how you decided to defend Ephraim suddenly. Out of nowhere, you decided to, to basically defend Ephraim. Um, because, like, if you don't... And here's the thing. If you don't like him, then... If you don't like him, then... Then why are you defending him? If you know he's guilty, then why does it matter? I mean, you said it yourself. He's ostracized. So, what I say about him shouldn't matter. Whether it's honest or dishonest, which it's not dishonest, 
But even if it was, why should it matter? Why does it matter? So, to my next point, right, before I pass it to Loon, is that, is um, the part right here where you're defending Neko Koda. Uh, the timestamp, 1933, you are saying, because doxers can be victims of heinous things and making like, things as, as things, you're basically defending Neko Koda. Now, like I said before, I am not defending V Omega. What V Omega did is a million times worse than anything that happened, than anything that Neko Koda has done. However, I want you to be aware that by defending Neko Koda, now look, I'm not saying that you should be like, oh, Neko Koda had it coming, or some shit like that. No, that's horrible. Don't say that. But what I'm saying is that by defending Neko Koda, you are giving her, essentially, making it a safer space for her to come back to YouTube. We don't need Neko Koda to come back to YouTube. She doxed people. Doxed people. She doxed minors over pe petty teenager shit. Over petty teen because people were bullying MG or bullying Mushroom Girl. No. People, people rightfully called her out on that. Yet. So, but, and we, and I got confirmation in the video I did, the Sneedening, where I talked about, you know, Septi, Peaches, and Co Lyle Convoy. That video, I talked about, I did mention that Neko Koda was asking Lyle Convoy to come back. And I know you saw it, because, because, I know you saw that specific part, because I got that from Doodle Tones' video. And I know that you probably watched Doodle Tones, because I saw you talking about her. Now, I do have some things to say about Doodle Tones' video. It wasn't all bad. I think she did a good job covering it, but there are some corrections I want to give her, but that's a conversation that's different from this. What I'm trying to say is that by defending Neko Koda, you are giving her a, her a sort of safe space for her to come back. And we've seen Neko Koda get in trouble, do shit, and then come back. You know, if she went under her Fluffle name, which Fluffles are a shit archetype anyways, but whatever. She came under her Fluffle name, her Dark Shadow name or whatever. She came back under Neko Koda, and then she came back under it a second time, but with... But but she's trans it's now, so she has a different character that's a little bit different. And now we've... And now she's back to deactivated. She deactivated her channel again. But now her Discord name is Raitana. And I guarantee you, in a few years, she's going to come back to YouTube under her Raitana name and pretend that nothing happened. She doxed somebody. We cannot let her come back. We do not defend doxers. Sirs, because we do not make a safe space for doxers. Because they will dox somebody again. Just like we don't make a safe space for predators. Because they will come back again. People who, who do stuff like that are just going to keep coming back. And that's the thing. We don't need doxers coming back. Afterwards. We don't need them coming back. And that's what I need you to be aware of. That's why I say we don't defend Neko Koda. And that... That... And because... Of that other time where I... Where I actually did get to talk to her. In that semi-flirtatious... DM I sent her, but she said that she let go of all her grudges and that she doesn't care anymore. So we don't need to defend Neko Koda. You may not have seen that video because it's on Rumble, because Septi Paws gave it a privacy complaint, uh, falsely struck it down because they didn't like how I was talking about how they supported an abuser. Sir. But you know, we don't need to defend Neko Koda. We can't let people like her come back, and we should not create a safe space. Now I'm gonna let you talk now, and you're not gonna, you know, overstay your welcome, and afterwards, I'm going to pass yes, the conversation on to Loon, because he has his own questions. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Coda stuff, because that's the easiest thing. Um, I wasn't defending her doxing someone i was saying that bad shit can still happen to her so i i don't see how that defends her actions in some way by saying like 
doing reprehensible shit to her is bad. Like, um, like, for example, if somebody were to sit there and, like, like me saying that is not defending Coda in the slightest. I think Coda's a shitty person, quite frankly. Um, there's an entire eight-hour video proving that point um, that I'm not going to get into because I think we all know why she's shitty. But um, I'm not defending her as a person, and I'm not defending her actions. I'm criticizing the actions of people who are being horrible to her or doing bad shit in response to that. Because her doing the bad shit, her doxing someone, doesn't absolve someone of criticism because they do bad shit to her instead. It's like if I said, oh yeah, V Omega sexually assaulting Neko Koda was bad. And then somebody goes, oh, you're defending Neko Koda. Like, that's not defending Neko Koda to criticize somebody else's actions towards her, if that makes sense. Um, I, I don't, I don't think that it's a fair, like, uh, it's not making a safe space for Coda. Because first of all, I am a very small person. If someone like, like, Su if I were as big as like Susie or Jar, for example, I could understand maybe like having, um, like ha having uh, some issue with that. But I'm one person with very little limited reach, even in the niche community that I'm in. Um, I'm not even online most of the time, like, just talking to, like, my actual, like, online friends, um, because I'm really busy, and I'm really small. Um, another thing I want to say is, like, I'm not, I just, I don't know, I don't see why we need to have this conversation. If you really wanted to have a conversation in here, it wasn't exactly necessary to, like, bring your friends in here, but I'm, I mean, all right. I, I know that's a little bit late to ask, to say that, but, like, I for real do not see the point. L like, <laughs> I don't care, like, if you post the call or whatever, but I don't see why they, this, this, like, couldn't have stayed, like, a spat, like, between us. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Congratulations, oh, you gave me a new question to ask. Congratulations, you gave me a new question to ask. How do you think it felt when Senate did it to me? I never justified when Senate did it to you. Then why were you, where you then, got that notion. then why in the screenshots did I see you you and Ephraim bringing up the call with Senate? I didn't know what Senate was. How was I supposed to defend it? All right, but here's but you know this here this the observatory this is our senate. But instead of doing what Lyo does and he doxes people, people and tries to threaten people and shit, what we do here is we is we're fair, we're fair, which is why which is why we have those rules in place because we want to be fair. Here, I'm not here to cuss you you out. I'm not here. I'm not gonna do anything out of pocket. We're keeping it focused, and we're keeping it, you know, we're keeping it focused. And we're trying to be as fair as we can. And so, so yes, I did bring, bring my friends here, the people I care about here, because this is our Senate. And notice how we're not doing a shouting match. Notice how there's not three people talking at once. Notice how I actually muted you when you cut me off instead of just shouting louder? We're senate, but actually morally correct. So do you have anything else, or should I pass the thing on to Loon? You can pass it. I'll be honest, I, I forgot most of your arguments. Like, I had issues with them, and then I just, like, forgot about them. I'm sorry, my ADHD is going fucking bonkers. I am not doing okay. You, you know, I'm autistic, and I have ADHD, and I can keep up more than you can. Loon, it's your turn. Okay. So, uh... I don't really have much to say, but... <clears throat> but there is something I do want to say. So, I saw that one script you had, and I 
And I have something to say when it comes to the thumbnail part, which I, you most likely won't like. But, so, how you, you, you say the, the, the Carmen's deflecting, deflecting in her explanation of, of the, of the septi thumbnail, and it may seem that way due to Ephraim saying, oh, thumbnail, it's a thumbnail of septi about to stab himself, and then her showing her explanation explaining how this was more so supposed to be a Newgrounds reference and to, and to show what the primary topic of the video was was going to be about, as opposed to trying to poke fun at Septi's attempts. I think she was more so trying to clear up confusion as opposed to trying to, like, contradict anything. Now, um, if I'm wrong about that part, the last part with the, the clearing confusion, uh, you can let me know, Karen. Um, yeah, it was a Newgrounds reference that also related to what I was talking about. That's why, you know, because I figured that people would sort of recognize the character of Nene. Because, you know, Nene, because... And I, I, I hate to be that person who's like, Oh, it's that guy from Friday Night Funkin', but, you know... People know who Nene is from Friday Night Funkin', and thus, people who know New... People are more aware of New Grounds because of that game, and... I figured the reference would... Would pretty much be understood. Good. And I mean, because also Septi likes Madness Combat, and Madness Combat is a New Grounds thing. So, yeah, you were right, Loon. You, you were right, that was my intention. It wasn't to make fun of them committing an hero it was me it was me you know tying what was said tying what the topic is into you know the person in a way that's y you get what i'm trying to say and do you have anything else loon well i had other things to say i just i just kind of was thinking of just kind of like having that as kind of like a pause just in case but I, I okay i could just get to the first question okay <clears throat> something i am curious of is uh is uh slumber are you are you aware of anything uh septi has done because i noticed in that script that that you treat it as if it's like just some just some average Joe is what I'm trying to ask. Is, you know, just are you aware? Is what I mean. Um, I had been made aware, like, of some of the things that Septi had done after scripting, um, but I didn't really have context to the situation. So some of that script might not exactly be like fully accurate to the situation but i i felt like a lot of it was like based like i could just kind of like uh i didn't really need a lot of the context for my script so i i didn't really feel like it, it would you know, <laughs> matter um i have some context now but i don't really like at this point i don't really see how it like really relates to the video a lot of my arguments were like general arguments not meant to be like situation specific if that makes sense hmm i see but it would kind of makes it would kind of make sense to do some at least some surface level research before like well i mean like before like kind of like kind of talking about it because that is kind because that is kind of like what that what what some of the parts of the, the like what some of the parts of that's what the Ephraim thing has to do with is is a uh, carbon eight hour video I mean of course you don't have to watch the eight hour video I mean maybe over like days and stuff or weeks but I mean like 
But what I'm trying to say is like, it has to do with that sef- that septi drama. Like, I, I just want to ask before I start talking. Uh, you're done, right? I just don't want to speak over you. Mm. Yeah. I'm uh, okay. Okay. Um, a lot of my arguments don't really need. Actually, I don't think any of my arguments, like uh, about Carmen's video, needed that context, because a lot of them were more problems with generally how she argued with Ephraim, which was something that like I had like watched. A lot of all of my problems hinged more on how she argued rather than what she was arguing or what the context to the situation was. So I didn't really feel it necessary to do like preliminary research because it, it just like <laughs> there wasn't much to do with the actual like set pause drama in and of itself. And what it did have to do with, I kind of skipped. Um, it, it, if it was in the, like the twenty minute period that I skipped, because uh, I was just getting tired, um, honestly, and a lot of uh, the other arguments were like sort of like a, more of the same. Like I didn't really feel the need to like argue anything specific because the context for that, like the septi pause stuff, it wasn't necessary. It, it, it what little of it was necessary was like agreed on with both parties and both parties acknowledged it and just had like there was uh one thing where there was like an issue and another where there wasn't um which was the stuff where uh septi drew i think it was like porn of like prison Eight, luke kai weiss and carmen um uh, and that was, like, the only part of, like, the actual context that was necessary. And both uh, Ephraim and Carmen, like, addressed it. Like, I, I don't want to keep, like, repeating myself over and over again. But basically, that video wasn't, like, it, it didn't have much to do with the actual Zepipaz situation in and of itself. So I, I didn't, like, feel the need to get additional context because much of the argumentation didn't hinge on that. And what little of it I it did, it could be argued without any like real understanding of it. If that makes sense. Mm. But um although I mean what I do wanna say is that It's understandable that it's like general arguments, but like if I were to personally give one one form of like critique, I would say that understanding things at least on a surface level would probably help arguments be a little better when it comes to that stuff. Like, surface level, like, it still could be on the general level, but it's not, like, necessarily, like, a full-on deep dive type of thing. Are you, are you done, or did you have more to say? Okay. Um, I'm gonna say like right now that like a lot of like the surface level stuff that I would have needed to understand the situation or like what was going on were like um like they were either in the video or they just like didn't matter because a lot more of the um like a lot more of the argument was like uh about like Ephraim um which which was a seg- a segment that I went and like watched after a little bit because I was like maybe I need to watch this just in case I miss something, um, but like generally a lot of the like uh points that Carmen had made and then Efron made and then Carmen made again were like um 
they weren't like uh they were they they were more so about the other person's arguments than like the context being like relevant if that makes sense like uh i went and watched that whole thing by the way uh a lot of the the points that i had problems with weren't problems um in and of itself because of the context or anything surrounding like the septi pause stuff a lot of it was more so like how whatever side argued whatever they were arguing like i think at one point ephraim said that like uh for example like at one point ephraim said that like uh he didn't stand by one of the things that septi did in the the carmen rider video that they made um and then i responded to that point but i didn't need to go watch that video at all because i had problems with uh ephraim basically saying that it, it wasn't his fault because he didn't do it even though um he was part of the collab uh just just like to give an example of what i mean like generally um a lot of my points didn't like change much um i tried to like word them a little bit nicer i, I think at one point um but other than that uh none of them even after I had like full context of the situation, I didn't really need to change them all that much just because of uh, like they were more like points against the arguments that that like in a vacuum I had problems with, if that makes sense. Like mm. I, I understand what you mean, but at the same time, a lot of my points weren't like they didn't hinge on the the context of the situation being relevant so i didn't really feel the need to go seek it out oh, i see yeah uh, although i do fully understand what you said like you're saying but i i'd like to say that like a bunch of like I don't that would take forever to get through to be fair like eventually I like was like okay maybe I need to go watch these just in case but like it took a, like a, a like a solid week to get through all of them because there was just like so much like it it took me like I think it was like um a few weeks actually to get through like Susie's 8 hour video on Coda and Susie's someone who I like actually like watching so so it took a lot longer to get through like <laughs> well, it didn't take a whole lot longer. It, it was actually, like, a little bit shorter, I think. But it was, like, it, it, it takes a while. And because a lot of the videos are, like, multiple hours long, if that makes sense. Wh which I know isn't, like, an excuse to not have some of that context. But I just thought I'd, like, mm. explain why I initially didn't want to, I guess. Mm, I see. Um. Hold on, I, I kind of lost what I was saying. Okay. I think that might have been just all I needed to say.
Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Uh... I know that at one point, uh, she, um, uh, fucking, what did she do? Um, I remember she tried to use her life as, like, a, like, a bargaining chip, like, it's, like, uh... Alright, I'm shop. back. When I say she, I mean Septi, not, not Carmen. Uh, I just used she and they, because Septi goes by she, they, and I, um, like, switch between the two. Um, so, anything happened so far? I had, to, I had to go to the bathroom, so... Anything happen, or... Where are we at? Um... I... Sorry. I, I take it that Loon finished his, his questions? Yeah. Alright, good, so... Alright, I'll, I'll let Vap go and... Do her stuff, and then... And then I'll get to final thoughts. So I'll probably just look at, at the recording afterwards. Alright. I forgot about that. Oh, oh, yeah, I know what you're referring to now. Yeah. I completely forgot about that, though. I haven't revisited that whole situation in, like, a while. Because I didn't think that was what we were going to talk about. So, I don't know. Um... Yeah, I, I, I know what you're referring to. Um, uh, I was, I was trying to cycle through the different because Septi also did a lot of fucked up shit. Like, I, I'm not gonna beat around the bush about that. Like, Septi's a fucking, fucking idiot. Like, saying the very least. Oh. Is is that all you wanted to ask? Like, I'm not trying to rush him. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, Carmen, can I ask you something? Actually, uh, I actually want to ask you two things, but one of them is more important than the other. What is it? Um. Uh, I, I were you gonna end up getting to the s the 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 server stuff or like do do you just not have the energy anymore? Right. It's, it's fine if you don't want to. But. Right. Well, I was. This kind of ties into Ephraim and in a way, he only mildly. I don't know if you you did this or not, but this is more about Blaze the movie fan, and I might. And I'm going to be honest, I probably am going to pull him into a call at one point. I don't care if he finds out. He's, there's nothing that can, he can do to prevent me from doing that. But, um, but Blaze the Movie Fan had um, banned the person who gave me the screenshots of the video. I, I don't care if people know who he is now since, since he's banned now, but the person Imperio. Now, I want to make it clear that, yes, I know that Imperio has done stupid shit before, but... I, but, you know, no, Imperia, 
I, I am aware that Imperio has done plenty of stupid shit before. But at the same time, one thing that concerns me is that when I asked them if they were... If, any, they, if anybody was saying anything. Now keep in mind, I hadn't asked before. Before he had just given me the screenshots, but... But this time I asked because this was during the time where you were walking your dogs for two hours. He asked Blaze the movie fan if what happened to the server, and and he told the screenshot says that Blaze the screenshot of the thing Blaze said it to Curio was no you were banned from this. If you want to know the reason, some well, someone told me this. Also, you should probably ban Imperio Mexicano. He commissioned porn of MG, who is a minor. The reason I wanted to bring that up was because I find it very, 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 very telling that it, that this was that Imperio was banned. Yeah, keep in mind, Imperio is a minor himself. So he's not he's not a nonce. And and while I do admit that Imperio was being stupid been when commissioning, is that um is the, I, I do agree what Imperio did was stupid, but I find it very telling that that Blaze was willing to ban Imperio for that, but for the lot but for the longest time, at least as long as I can remember Ephraim was still welcome in that server, even after I talked about Ephraim, you know, having those allegations on him. And I find that very telling. I don't, I don't know if you're the one who, who reported him. I don't know who did it, and frankly, I don't care. But, but at the same time, I find that really kind of telling. That's the main thing I wanted to say in regards to that. What was your second question? Oh, um, I actually had another one. Oh, uh, I'm just asking this out of curiosity. I literally could not care less how you answer this. Are you fucking curious now? Because you said you recorded this, right? It's still recording, yeah. Been at it for an hour and 35 minutes. I'm gonna put it out there that I literally don't care if, if you post it or not, but are you going to? Like, I'm very curious. <laughs> yeah, to, like, I intend, yeah, like, I intend to make all the calls we have here with other people public, which is why I told you. I'm not, like we said, we're not Senate, we're not just gonna record a call and keep it in a vault until we just, we just happen to need it. Did for for somebody else's video only to not fully release it. No, we we have a level of transparency. He, we are going to tell you that we're recording the call and we're going to release it publicly. We may have to put in some context and if for whatever reason we're discussing like personal information like IRL stuff, then we will censor any personal information. But yes, calls like this will be will be posted. Which is why we're, we were telling you we were recording it in the first place. And it's not going to be like tomorrow, but it's going to happen. Okay. That, that, that kind of makes my other question like redundant, honestly. Because uh, I was going to ask if I could have it, but it, it doesn't really matter if like, you're already going to post it. Yeah. Um, yeah. At that point, everyone will have it. Um... Um, is that, is that all the questions you had for me? I was about to ask if you had any more, like, things that you wanted to bring up. Because, like, if, if we're already in this call, like, I'm for real, like, at my house alone for, like, the next couple of hours, probably. So it literally, like, I don't know. If, <sighs> um, One thing I do want to say... I had no way of knowing who was, like, in the server taking those screenshots, so I literally, like, could not have gotten banned. I just wanted to clarify that, because I know you said you didn't care, but then I say a thing, I don't care about things all the time, and then I do. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I've been doing better about that, though, recently. Well, I don't care who, who said to, 
ban, ban Imperio because I think it speaks for Blaze the movie fans. I think it speaks more about Blaze on his part than it does anyone else's because instead of just looking at the objective facts, he decided to just take someone's word for it. Anyone can just go up to any server owner and said, Oh, this person did this, and that explained the context. So, that's why I didn't really care who did it. So, yeah. I would have been bothered if you were the one who did it, and I probably would have confronted you about it, but as of right now, I don't give a shit. But, um... Alright. I, I don't have... A, well, there's one thing I want to ask of you, but you can do this on your way out, is that... I want a, I want a list of the people who were, who, who were victims of FROM. And I want to know how old each of them were. That is one thing I want from this. That is one thing I have wanted from the very beginning when talking about FROM. Is that I want a list of the people he was, he was, f he was flirting or sexually harassing and a list in their ages corresponding to those names. It doesn't have to be everyone. I know you're probably not going to have every single person, but I want, like, a list of the ones you know. And and not their age currently, the, their age when it happened. That's what I've been wanting, because that would be the... the, the that would define whether Ephraim is a nonce or not. That is what I was asking. Wanted to know who specifically the victims were, and how old they were. Uh, whether it be, that's that's the thing I wanted. It, it doesn't have to be a long, comprehensive list. Just the ones you remember. Like right now. If you could do it, like after this call on your way out, or you could DM me or something. I don't know. You don't have. To do it like right now, but we're gonna need that list eventually, after after this call. I am gonna be so utterly for real right now. Um, I'm gonna have to scroll back a lot because I wasn't there, um, and I'm gonna have to like talk to the people involved because, like, ooh, no, no, because like I'm I'm not I don't know I don't I don't. I think, to my knowledge, it was just the stuff with, like, Light and Umbris. Um... Well, I wanna know wrong. who... Well, I wanna know who these other... other miners were. There. Because Umbris said miners plural, and I wanna... And even if you have to ask some people, you have to ask, hey, what's your experience with Ephraim? Like, I wanna have that list... that list to look at to see how... To see how, um... To see how many people it was. And someone just brought up to me a very good point. Why were you mad at me for this if you don't even know? Moon brought that point up to me just now. Um, if he wants to explain what he means, then he can go ahead and do that. Well, <clears throat> well I meant more so like, like earlier when you said, oh, uh, I only really know the ages of... I only really know that it happened with Light and Umbris. And, and then you were like... You're like, oh, you could ask me for the ages of the people way earlier in the... Way earlier in the... In the call. You were like... You could ask me for the ages! As if you fully knew it. Okay. Okay, so, uh, wait, did you, okay, um. <laughs> Go ahead and. My, right. uh, um, okay, so, the reason that I said that was because all of the, the, the member, most of the current members of POG who were, are in there, are, like, uh, in the like 17 like eight, 18 age bracket I, I think i'm like the youngest one in there and i'm 16 um 
Well, I'm that... also gonna say this right here. It's it's really not my place to give you those names because I wasn't one of the people that Ephron was sexual with. Because I literally was not here when that was going on, like at all. Okay, but you're still in the server, meaning, and you said you'd have to scroll up a bit. I still think it's important that we that we look at this list of people that he's affected and see how old they are because yes they may be in the eight the 18 17 age bracket but if there's a pattern where it's just he's just going after 17 year olds and like only that then that might be a little concerning you know like like what I said with Natty Forsyth you know you know it was that it was her interactions with you know with those two people who were within her age bracket but still minors combined with her previous behavior if if one of if two if it was just two of the people who were minors that Ephron was interacting with then maybe then maybe I'd have a harder time I'm saying that he was not that he's a nonce but if it's like oh 17 17 17 17 and there's like one or two 18 year olds then that's a concerning pattern. Yes, and, and look, yes, I agree. 19 on 17, that's not pedophilia. Yeah. Somebody who is 16 to 17 do, doing it with somebody who's 18 to 19, that's not pedophilia. Yeah, I agree. But if there's a pattern where it's like just people who are, a bunch of people who are 17, in it, in it, and there's like one or two 18 year olds, that would be a concerning pattern. And I still feel like we would need that list of people well, to see. I, I, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. Gonna be real with you, homegirl? I, I really don't. Because, like... Okay, so, so what you're saying, right? You don't know the people's ages in there, right? You don't know, like... You don't... Like, I think the fact that you're trying to apply this pattern of like, oh well, they're all seventeen-year-olds. Um, when the only like, the only the the thing is though is they're all in like the same group. It's the fact that he was in that group not that they were all seventeen-year-olds. If if, and I think it's like really weird. <laughs> Like, to try to apply this sort of pattern of, like, uh, from, like, like, some sort of, like, sex-crazed child predator. Because not only, not only, right, if, if you don't know the ages of the people that Ephron was sexual with, right, why are you making, why are you trying so hard to make this, like, assertion? Like, Ephron was 19, most of the people in there are, like, in his age bracket, so I don't see why, like this like attempt to like call him out as like a pedophile because i am fully confident that um like this wouldn't have been kept like like i guess you could make the argument that like oh well what if the victims didn't want this out but like didn't want it out either and yet he still let people talk about it like there was a reason for that like he didn't he didn't want it like super public right so I, I would imagine it would be a very similar case of like much of like a similar thing and and I just want to like I don't know I just think it's like really weird that you're trying to apply this like huge pattern when like you don't to, to my knowledge you don't really have a f reason to you're, you're not in that group right you don't know the people in that group right well that's why I'm asking <laughs> That's why I'm asking you for that because you were you were in that group and you asked me to ask you for the ages of those people and I'm asking you now and I'm asking you and Sorry. it really does seem like you're changing your point. Like I said before, I I would be glad to be proven wrong. I I don't want somebody being exposed for being a child predator. That's no, that's bad. Even though it would make me look right, that's bad. And I don't want to... I don't want somebody who... But he, whether they're my enemy or not, I don't want to... 
but he, I don't want to find out that somebody is a child predator. I'm going to talk about it because it's important, but I don't want to know. And that's why, and the thing is, you say that I'm not, that I'm not a part of the group, so I can't know. That's why I'm asking you. I'm not going to say, like, I'm not going to, and I understand, like, how, and, like, I kind of understand why victims might not want this out there. Maybe they're embarrassed. Maybe they don't want their parents finding out and take away, taking away their internet access. Maybe they, they're, they just, they're, like I said, they're embarrassed. But I feel like that's, stuff like this is important. It needs to be out there. It needs to be talked about because do the stuff, the people who do the stuff need to be exposed. And, and you say you're so sure that Ephraim isn't a nonce. To me, that sounds like you already know all the victims and all their ages, since you're so certain that Ephraim's not a nonce. And all I'm asking for is the, um, is the ages of the people and who they were. They're just a list. I, you don't have to give me details. You don't have to give me the what Ephraim was saying specifically. You don't have to give me, like, like any of the details. I just want to know who in how old. And I want a list of anyone you can gather. Anyone you do know that isn't is that isn't already fractured light. Because we already know about fractured light. But but we need to know we need that list of people. But whether they're minors or adults, we need that list because only then can we determine whether Ephraim is a nonce or is just a creepy sexual harasser. That is why we need that list of people. And I know it's going to take some time scrolling and finding everyone, every single one, but we need that. And that's and I feel like that's the one thing we should be able to compromise here. Here. This call has been sort of back and forth, I will admit. I've been a bit back and forth now, but we need but this is the one thing we should at the very least compromise on. Um, Cause if Ephraim's not an aunt, then this will prove it. If it if it's if every single person there is eighteen, 18 and there's only like two or three people that are seventeen, then okay, Ephraim's just a creepy sexual harasser. But if there's, like, a bunch of people who are 17, and, like, two people who are 18, then, then we might need to start thinking that, hmm, maybe Ephraim's specifically going after people who are 17 under that, Kate, under the guise of, you know, that age gap. Now, I'm not saying that is what he's doing, but it, but the, but this list of people will be able to, to determine whether or not Ephraim is a nonce. This will be one of the few factors we can... that will either sway either of our decisions in regards to this. That's why we need that list of people and that list of ages. Would you believe me? Yes. I Are have you no sure. Yeah, I I have no reason to believe that you're lying. You've I don't think you've lied. You've you've probably backtracked a little and argued a bit in ways that seem a bit bit off, but I wouldn't say you straight up lied. If you do lie to me, then I would have a reason to believe that you're lying, but right now, I, I don't have a reason to believe that. I'm not seeing any inconsistencies aside from signs of bad arguing, but that's not enough to prove a lie. Are, are, are you sure you would believe me? Yes. I'm asking this for a reason, by the way. I'm not, like, just trying to be repetitive. I... I'm going to believe you until you lie to me. If you lie to me in the future, or start lying to me, then I will have a reason to not believe you. you 
but as of right now, you have not lied to me. Aside from maybe the dog walking thing, but I don't give a shit about that. That, also unless- lie, by the way, my dog just takes a long time to shit. <laughs> Whatever, like, like, like I said, actual. I don't care. Whatever, yeah. I, I'm not caring. Um, I, I will believe you here. Can I, can I ask you something, real quick? Sure. This isn't meant to be an argumentative question, by the way. Um, okay. So, so if, right, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> hypothetically speaking, let's say that Ephraim was, like, was doing, like, shit to, like, 16-year-olds. Shit like that, right? You know what I'm getting at here? Okay. Um, this this is an argument. I just want you to think about it. Um, let, let's say, let's say that he does, like, shit like that, right? Okay. Um, so, um, considering the fact that, uh, light being, like, sexually harassed by Ethel, like, that was already, like, brought to light by, uh, like, a lot of people. So, so wouldn't it also make sense, right? Like, if that's the case, why, why wouldn't people who were younger than Light, like, if Ephron was being a pedophile, right? Why, why do you think that wasn't, like, brought to light? I'm just asking, because, like, I, I genuinely want to know what you have to say about that. I'm gonna be honest, I have the same question. I, I have the same exact question, and that's kind of the question I've been asking this whole time in videos. Why isn't Ephraim away? But I haven't gotten to that, a that answer. Well, that's going to be my question after I get the answer of how old were these other minors, and were these other minors actually minors? Because if my question is, how old were these other minors, if, if it's the answer... I'm hoping it's not, then that's gonna be my next question, is why this wasn't outed. I mean, and I'm not saying you're doing something like this, when I, when I use this as an example, I'm not saying you're doing this, but... The CC already had a problem with people still talking to V Omega, and I'm not, and I'm not saying you're doing this, I'm not saying you're doing something like this. And... I'm a f and... If this list of people is true, like, if it really reflects Ephraim as a, a predator, like, if, if a lot of these people are six, are 17 and 16 and just a few of them are 18, I might have reason to believe that these, that these people, I might have a reason to believe that this is another situation where people are being friends with V Omega, or something similar to that, and that's my concern. See, but, but if if Ephraim, right, if Ephraim was preying on people that were outside of that age bracket or were like 16 or whatever, don't you think that that would have been outed before light stuff? It, it, it genuinely doesn't make sense to out uh, Ephraim for sexually harassing someone, but not for being a pedophile when Space Guru 5 is, to my knowledge, very comfortable with outing people as pedophiles. So... It doesn't make sense to me, like, to sort of, like, insist that, like, he, he, he must be pedophilia when, by this point, like, Space Guru 5 is already fine with, like, opening up about the fact that people are doing predatory shit, especially in regards to Ephraim. Does that, does that make sense? Well, I, here's the thing, I... I get what you're saying, and, but at the same time, I know how people in the com how there are people in the commentary community, and the the situation with with the Omega and people being friends with him. The reason I bring that up is because I know that people in the CC, he, the SCC. I'm not saying you again. I'm not saying you, but I know there are people in the C SCC who would still keep connections. To these people. Oh, oh. And if people are that easily 
be friends, because more people, because objectively, more people know about V Omega than people know about Ephraim. I think objectively that is true. I've known about V Omega way before I knew about Ephraim. I've known about V Omega since, I think even before the Immigrant Saga, to be honest. Even before the whole Septi Partition, I knew who V Omega was. I, I think. I, I think. I could be wrong there. Either way, I've known about V Omega longer than I've known Ephraim. More people know about V Omega than, more, than people know about Ephraim. So, if people, if despite V Omega being a more well-known predatory person, if people are still out here being friends with him in the Cloud Palace, then Who's to say that people don't have the capacity to be f to befriend Ephraim, somebody who, if their allegations are true, if they really are a nonce, who's to say are are also not going to be who are also going to be friends with Ephraim? Because if there's people who are people like Keyblade Master who want to befriend the Omega for whatever gross reason, then then surely they're there are people out there that are going to befriend Ephraim. Um, so it's so yes, it doesn't make sense to not out this behavior. Here, but at the same time, it's happened before. In the in this, and again, giving me this list will will determine whether this this type of behavior, this type of befriending, is going on or not. And that's why we need that. Again, like, it doesn't have to be right now, but, like, when this call is finished, or sometime after this call is over, then we'll, we're gonna need that list of people to see whether Ephraim's being an aunt, or if, or if Ephraim is, is just creepy. Can I ask you one, like, one, one, like, last question? Um... If you're planning, it's you say just, last question. It's just one. Um, you okay. said last question. Did did Vap and Loon already finish? I, oh, I think yeah, they already finished. Uh, okay. Hey, um, you can go ahead and ask it. Just just as long as you eventually get us that list. All right. Um. So, if I may ask, why do you think people who already don't like Ephraim, who were already comfortable with outing him as someone who was willing to sexually harass people, and who were already willing to, like, tell people and, like, make it public, um, like, both on Twitter and on YouTube, right? Or people who, like, literally barely interacted with him, um, if at all, before, like, one conversation, right? Um... Why do you think they'd be, like, so willing to, like, try to get buddy-buddy with Ephraim by covering up pedophilia? If they were, if they already didn't like him, they were already part of a group of people who didn't like him. If they were already talking about him negatively, I presume. I don't exactly know, but that, that, that sounds like something that, like, would happen, like, understandably so, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but... If, if all of this dislike for Ephraim is going on, right, and they've already shown a willingness to show that Ephraim, like, is, is incredibly, like, like, is willing to, like, make extreme sexual advances at people, which make them uncomfortable, after they've already asked him to stop. Why do you think they would be so uncomfortable and try to be buddy-buddy with him by hiding pedophilia? I just, it, it, you don't have to answer right now. I just want you to think about that. Like, okay. Like in the way that I'm asking it, like, it, it, to me, it doesn't make sense. So it probably wouldn't happen, right? Like, I want you to think of it like that, not like, that's my question. Like, I want you to, like, genuinely think a little bit about that. Um, I don't, um, although I am going to say this, it's not really my place to sit here and talk about, like, who Ephron was being sexual with. That's the people who he harassed. And I am not those people. Um, so that's something you may want to, like, talk with, like, 
someone else about that because I, like like I'm not saying like I'm not willing to talk to people but what I like and ask them if they're comfortable with me like talking to you about that but what I am going to leave here right now is that um I don't think like it's my place because I'm not one of the people that Ephraim was sexual with okay well personally I know you can't speak on their behalf, but I'm not asking you to speak on their behalf. I just need to know who he did it to and how old they were. That's all I'm asking. But I'm saying that's not my place either. It's not my place to sit here and, like, without their consent. How the fact that they were sexually harassed by someone. When they, they probably don't want to talk about it, to be honest. Okay. And I, I can understand. Okay, then then why is it that earlier did you keep going on about me ch needing to ask you about it? I was saying that you could have. You could have for months, and you which means, did not. Which means that I could have asked you, and you could have given me an answer. But now I'm asking you for an answer, and you can't give that to me? You do know how this doesn't make any who, sense, I right? I can't tell you who he harassed because oh my. not my place. <sighs> you, is, this, is this all you came into this call to ask me about? Is is that the entire point of this No, call? N no, that's not the entire point. I'm saying that this is the one thing we can compromise on. The one thing we can compromise on. But any- I could have compromised if- if- Clearly, I I'm going to make this crystal clear for you, Carmen. If people aren't talking about the fact that they were sexually harassed by Ephraim after that was already outed for, uh, like, uh, a an instance of him doing so, then they probably just want to move on from the situation and don't want to talk about it. I, I want you to consider that, because I'm considering that heavily right now. Okay, it's listen. It's really important that you think about that. Okay, listen. Here, Loon gave me... Loon gave, Loon gave me another compromise to our compromise. Is... He said that, that I could make some of the people anonymous. Now, I would still need to know who these are, but if I'm going to be talking about Ephron publicly, I won't say their names. I'll say how old they are, but I won't say their names. How about that? Is so we'll know that we'll know that these people and the reason I need their names is so I can confirm that they're the age that they were. And that's that's it. That's the reason I need the names. If you just give me the ages of the people, then I'll be people with their names, I won't say who they are. I won't say who the victims are. Or I'll just say how old they were. I won't say any specific names. I won't say anyone specific, because frankly... But, I, but if you could give us the list of the people, we won't say any of the names, but we will say the ages. The reason we need the names, though, is so we can confirm that those people are the ages that they are. There. There. But beyond that, we won't he we won't say who they are. We won't publicize that they were the ones who were mentioned. We'll just say, oh, this person was was this years old. This person was this years old. Is that better? <laughs> Is that better or? I still have problems with that, but at this point, we're going to get nowhere if I go over everything. <laughs> Alright, well, we need that list either way. We're going to need that list. I, is... I can... <laughs> I don't... I honestly think that this is something that, like, you... I don't think I'm the person to ask. <laughs> okay, um... then who do we... Then who should I ask? Who should I ask? <laughs> I don't know, but it's certainly not me. Oh my god, you were who was not involved. You were going to um, you, you know how you like asked Umbers in a public comment section? Uh that public comment section still exists because the video is still up. Yes, I am aware that public comment ask. section exists. How about you That's why you ask you... questions more than one time? I have been asking Umbers again. 
If I ask it a second time, what makes you think that Umbers is going to answer that? Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe because it's going to be a recent comment that she's probably going to see. I don't know. We're going I'm around in it. fucking circles. Are you going to give us the list or not? I just said that I would believe you if you give me the list. This is the one thing I that I've learned. I doubt that. Yeah, I told I you that. I that. What do you mean you fucking doubt that? I fucking doubt that. Because what makes you I think that? You that, the that, that? Because most of the people in that group are fucking not fucking 15 year olds. Okay, well give us the list of the how old they are. We need exact ages! I told you why! It's not because I don't believe that they're above 15, it's because I believe- because I need to see if there is a pattern of behavior. I have explained this to you for minutes. It has been two hours now. Two hours and seven minutes. Either you give us the list, or you get the fuck out. Okay, bye! That was a productive use of my time. I could have been- I could have been playing Disgaea, I could be playing Genshin, I could have been doing so many fucking other things, and I could have kept this going, but is on her way home. Um, good night, I'm sorry I wasted everyone's time.